In a hole in the ground there lived a hobbit. Not a nasty, dirty, wet hole filled with the ends of worms and an oozy smell, nor yet a dry, bare, sandy hole with nothing in it to sit down on or to eat. It was a hobbit hole, and that means comfort. Hi Ben, hello Jack. Right, new intro for a new series. Hope you like it. It's a quotation from The Hobbit. Uh, it's actually the first paragraph in the book. It doesn't appear in the film. Um, I'm going to be practicing doing furniture and interiors. And I thought the easiest thing to do was to do it underground where I don't have to worry about any exterior. Uh, I'll just put this bit together here. For the intro, um, probably not going to do anything else with it out here. Uh, I've dug it into the side of a hill so I should have enough space to work underground. As you can see I'm in creative mode, I'm in peaceful so I don't have to worry about any mobs. And today I'm going to start by doing the entrance hall. Now I just threw this together for the video. Obviously not going to have pumpkins in here. Um, and I'm already thinking that this, even though it sort of fits the theme, is going to be a bit too low because with the stairs along the edge here you don't get much wall surface to work with but we'll see now I am going to need some light in here but I don't want to leave torches down for too long um, I've been and looked at a website called minecraftfurniture.net which uh, as it says basically has lots of suggestions for doing furniture and they also have a very good video at the beginning which gives you some advice some sort of general advice um, on how to make your Minecraft house look good. Um, and the first thing they say is don't have torches around. So I'm going to be doing lots of sort of concealed lighting or glowstone lamps that sort of thing. Right, um, I'm going to change this up, make it make it a bit taller. Um, maybe put an extra layer in here, that's one of the things they suggest is do all your interior walls double thick so that you can have different wall on the inside to the outside or different wall on either side uh, so what I'll probably do is bring the door back a block and have an extra layer over here so I'll get that done and I'll be right back Okay, well, I've increased the height of this, and right away I don't like it. Um, I'm aiming for a nice cosy look to this place, and I think it looked better with the roof, or the ceiling rather, a block lower. So, hmm. I'll leave it for the moment and see how I feel about it when I've put some furniture in. Alright, entrance hall. Um, I've put down a flagstone floor. Uh, I will want to have... Oh, what do I just do? There you go doormat, you have to wipe their muddy feet, actually I might put it back there, no, no that doesn't work, that goes there, 
No, um, I'm going to want to have a nice bench along here perhaps for people to sit down on to take their boots off and possibly a cupboard for them to put clothes in so let's go with the basic oak wood bench with item frame ends don't need the door anymore um, we'll get some leather boots out as well to put down for decoration in a minute. Right, so let's put the bench along here, say. Oh, no, not on the side. Oh, not on the front, rather. Put them on the side, that's your basic bench. Um, I want to put some coat hooks up. Um, let's see, I don't want to break up these uprights. I'm using the spruce wood with the oak logs as they're very similar colour but different texture so it just helps to break it up a bit. Um, let's think, let's... Um, Stick the boots down there. Oh, no, it's actually not, I'm not going to put them there. I will put them other side over in this corner here. Um, maybe a potted plant in the corner. Nice fern. See how that goes. Oh, no, standing on the bench. There we go. Right, um. Now, um, for coat hooks I can either use levers or tripwire hooks. Um, I think the levers look too bulky. Actually that's too high up. And the tripwire hooks aren't that much better. low as well. Not there, that looks a bit better, but mm, not sure. Um, the other thing I want to do is this is going to be a place for sort of outdoor clothes to be hung up or to be put away before going through into the rest of the house. So I'm going to want a nice warm fire here to help the clothes dry out. Now, seeing as I'm building with wood, I'm going to have to be a bit careful. Um, let's see... I'm going to want some nether rack. Oh, actually I'm going to need those slabs. And I want some nether brick slabs. And nether yeah, brick fence, I think. Yeah. Now, let's see. Fireplace will be done with the slabs. Um, we're going to have surround fire surround like that. We're going upwards, and then down in there we'll put the nether rack. Now, um, better if I have that out there. So it looks like the chimney goes up there. Um, what you have to watch out for with fire around wood is you have to make sure that any air spaces in a 3x3 three three square around the fire up to a height of about five blocks. Any air spaces that don't have anything flammable next to them. So at the moment this is the only air space here above this slab. 
and all the stuff around it is nether brick or uh, stone. So that should be okay. Um, I think I'm going to swap the stone there up for stone bricks. Um, throw in a cracked stone brick as well. Cracked by the heat. bother too much with the just a cracked one there. I'm not going to bother about putting a cracked one behind the fire because you won't be able to see it anyway. Right, tools, flint and steel. Right, there we go, nice bright fire. Now I can get rid of the torch as well. So, now just to check, and this is not, uh, oh this is in um, peaceful mode so I don't have to worry about the mobs but just to check the corners because the fire is at ground level and the block light level here BL7 it is at my eye level so that's in standing up on that no, oh, I didn't know you could stand on flower pots. Let's take that out of the way for the moment. Um, yeah, so that's at this block here, which means that the lighting at my feet, which is where the mobs would actually spawn, is going to be eight. So that's okay. Mobs can spawn at any light level of seven or below. It should be the same over here. Yep. And in the doorway too. Yes, that's okay. Right. Um, clothes cupboard, I think. Next, let's break open in here. Pull that in. Get that brown carpet again. I'm going to be using quite a lot of the brown carpet, I think, for doing things like shelves because it goes quite well with the wood. So we'll put a cupboard with shelves in, in here. Right. That way round. Right. And over this side I'm probably... I don't like those. I don't like those up there. The problem is they're too high up when I have them up here and they're too low down when I have them down there. I need something sort of at that level if I'm going to have coat hangers. Right, so another cupboard here. And I'm going to put... Um, Item frames. I do not need to want the door back. Want to put the door on the cupboard. Um, and some clothes. And put the door on there. I know it doesn't look terribly good with the uh, item frames and all, but uh, it's only for decoration. But of course that is what I'm concentrating on at the moment, so maybe I'll think of something better for that. Um, I still don't like this ceiling being this high, so I'm going to reduce the height of that and have another look. Back in a minute. Okay, there we are. I think that looks a bit better. Um, put the plant pot back. Added a painting. Stuck in a bit more stone brick above the fireplace. And I think that's looking pretty good. Um, not too cluttered, but not a lot of sort of wasted space. Um, 
this is going to be, I think, sort of the standard passageway in this house, Hobbit Hole rather. Um, the general layout is going to be, next thing is I'm going to do a dining room straight through here, which is going to be the largest room in the house. Um, and then there'll be passageways going off in each of the other three directions with rooms off either side of them. Um, if I if I break through to the surface anywhere I may do some landscaping outside to cover it up. Or I may decide to put a window. So it's not going to be completely underground. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll carry on with doing the dining room in the next episode so I shall see you then. Bye!